excited about all the comics you're going to see. We have a special thing tonight. We have a guest comic. He's coming to us from Oak Ridge. He has toured comedy clubs all over the Southeast. Please give it up for the very funny Mr. Danny Whitson. <laughs> So guys, my name is Danny Whitson. I'm a local guy, just right down the road from Oak Ridge. Yeah. Hey, Oak Ridge is out here, yeah. It's where they built the first atomic bomb, folks. Yeah. Don't know if you guys have been there here lately, but things have went downhill a little bit since World War II. Well, actually, scientists are thinking about building another one, but they're afraid the locals might mistake it for a giant oxycotton. So. Uh, Actually, I've started a new hobby here lately, man. Uh, you know, most guys my age just take up golf. I took up magic. Ooh, that's right. Till my wife hates it, though. I'm always time walking around the house showing her card tricks. Actually, she, one time she said the worst thing to me that you could say to a magician. She goes, "That's cute, but I bet it's in the other hand." <laughs> we were having sex. <laughs> I hate that damn trick. <laughs> now, I'll be honest with you, I do identify myself as a magician, but I'm not full of shit like that one guy on TV with the dark hair and the mascara. <laughs> Ted Cruz. You get everything? <laughs> See the immigrant? Now you don't. That guy, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, usually I don't do political stuff, man, I'll be honest. But it's almost impossible these days because everybody's got that one friend, no matter what. He wants to talk politics at the worst possible time, am I right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, one time this guy came up to him and he goes, I think the whole situation in Benghazi is completely Hillary Clinton's fault and Obamacare is destroying this country. And I was like, dude, we're at the Chuck E. Cheese. And by the way, where the hell are your parents? I don't know, man. Kids are a trip. Let's hear it for the parents out here tonight, parents night out. Let's hear it. Yeah. And being a good parent is tough, man. It, it is. It's tough. I just recently got my, my little girl's uh, back to school supply list for kindergarten, and I'm convinced her teacher is a doomsday prepper. That son of a bitch was this long. I'm just like, what the hell? She need eight boxes of duct tape for, babe. I don't make no sense. But now it's important to be good to your kids, guys, because you never know when you need them later in life. True? Right? Like the other day, I had to ask my four-year-old to bring me toilet paper. <laughs> she came back with seven Q-tips. <laughs> and she's smart, too, because she knows you can use them twice. <laughs> but now she tests me, too. They'll test you. Like the other day, she was playing with a toy. She dropped her toy. Looked me dead in the eye and goes... Shit, Daddy! I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. So I went in the back room and laughed my ass off. But not before I did tell her, I said, Don't you ever say that again! Unless your mother's family's here. Uh, I'm trying to be a better dad, though. I'm trying to quit doing bad things, stupid stuff, like, you know, I'm trying not to drink so damn much. I do drink too much. Like, uh, nothing wrong with drinking tonight, though, folks. Be sure to drink tonight. But, like, the other day, uh, I spent two hours calling people trying to get a ride home. I was in my kitchen. I was grabbing anything that looked like a phone. Apparently, no one was answering their peanut butter that night. And I knew I was hammered because the next day when I did find my phone, I had like seven Uncle Crackers songs on there. Just, what the hell? I got some Uncle Cracker fans out here. All right. See, we got any road rage people? Any bad drivers? Any shitty drivers? Who's the better driver here? Yes, yeah, right. It, that's exactly. Let's get up for the ladies who better drivers in here. Let's hear it for the ladies right here. Guys, you talk all this smack, you guys suck at driving. I do too, and you know why? Because we get mad too easy, fellas. And you know what pisses me off more than anything? It's when I see one of those stupid little smart cars. <laughs> That's not a car. Every time I see one, I think Optimus Prime is somewhere looking for his penis. <laughs> That's not a car. That's
that's a Transformers dick. <laughs> now seriously, true story, man. What's really weird, man, is getting road rage. That's a problem. And it gets really weird when you get road rage in front of your kids. Because me, I don't cuss in front of my kids. I use substitute words. <laughs> One time I'm going down the road. This little smart car is driving along. Cuts me off. I lose my brains. I drive right up next to the smart car. Roll the window down. Hey! You're a silly goose! <laughs> Now, I don't know if you've ever looked a grown man in the eye and called him a silly goose before, but that'll scare him a lot more than a five foot six redhead dude calling him a motherfucker. Now, even my little girl was in the back seat freaking out. She was like, shit, daddy! <laughs> guys, that's all my time. You guys are awesome. Guys, my name is Danny Whitson. You can find me on Facebook. You can also find me on Twitter at Super Magic Boy. Thanks a lot for coming out, parents. You guys are great.